Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your theme a little bit further. We're going to be changing some of the templates. I'm going to be I want to be using uh, HTML5 for this site, uh, all sorts of stuff, and we're going to get in here, and this is going to start looking a lot cleaner than it does already. Okay. Okay, so if we scroll down here, you'll notice last time we have uh, our column and our column here. We have these two that we created last time. By the way, if you don't know how to get this uh, information right here, your inspect, all you have to do in Chrome or Safari, uh, Firefox has this mode too, but it's a little bit different. You want to click, right click, and then select inspect element, and it's going to bring up this window. Yours might be on the bottom instead of the side. Uh, if you're on a late, latest enough version of Chrome, you can change that down here with this option, or I'm sorry, this option. And I just usually like to have it on the side because I have a water monitor here. But okay, uh, that's besides the point. If you look here, we had given this class, this div, a class of um, it's a column main. We gave it a class of 13, so it's 13, uh, it's 13 columns wide and therefore it's 760 pixels and that's defined by our skeleton framework that we're using and here we have a column that is three columns wide or a a, a co yeah a column of the site that's three columns wide and it's 160 pixels wide so when i hover over this you see this blue box here well what's the stuff that shot in here below it well it's actually this footer container which if you hover over it looks pretty confused because uh, that's not where the footer container should be. Well, if you've gone over any of the Level Up Touch CSS course or you have experience in CSS, you'll know that uh, when you float elements, in fact, if we click on this div right here, you can look at the CSS, you can see it's floated left. When we float elements, it takes them out of the flow of the document. Um, so we floated the main column, we floated this one, they're out of the flow of the document, and then this footer container sneaks up right up in there. Um, and we don't want that to happen, obviously. We want this footer to stay below it. Um, so what we need is a clear fix. And luckily for us, Skeleton comes with a clear fix built in. Uh, most other frameworks do as well. If you're using HTML5 boilerplate or anything, it has the clear fix CSS right in there. Uh, so I'm not going to bother putting that CSS in my, in my document because it's already here. So let's go to our HTML. And the way the clear fix works is you put a class of clear fix on the wrapping element that's wrapping your columns and then they're going to fill out and uh, it's going to clear the floats so that the flow of the document is correct. So in our main container that has this call to write layout, I'm actually gonna get rid of this call to write layout. We don't need that. And I'm gonna add clear fix. I'm gonna save this, come back to our page. I'm gonna refresh now. And now we have a proper right column, a proper left main column. And we have our footer down here in the bottom exactly where it's supposed to be. It's no longer confused. It's no longer trying to take up space that it doesn't own. So this is pretty good. Uh, this is a little bit better. So what's other things we can do to clean up this, uh, this page a little bit? Well, we're going to be fixing this navigation a little bit. I'll show you how to do a drop down navigation. And we're going to be cleaning up some of this. But let's clean up some of our HTML. If we came in here, it's kind of you know, not exactly, not ideal here. So what we want to do is we want to use HTML5 for this site uh, because uh, HTML5 is the new standard for HTML. You should be using it on your projects now. There's no reason not to. Even though they say it's not complete, the uh, there's nothing stopping you from using HTML5 and it's really going to benefit you to use it in the long run. So use HTML5, learn it now. It's not hard, it's just HTML, okay? So the first thing we want to do is take this doc type and we want to get rid of all this public stuff and just by specifying a doc type of HTML, we're now using HTML5. Okay, and in here, all this stuff, I'm going to get rid of this too uh, and we're just going to have a standard HTML tag. Save that. Nice and easy. Cool. Okay, so what else can we have uh, to have this a little more, you know, making sense? Well, we have a div wrapping everything. It's our container. Um, we have a div of the class of page, and then it's our header. So this is the main container. Of course, this is where we had our clear fix, and it's spanning the entire width of the page. Inside of that is we have the main area, and then we have the column right, which we're using for all sorts of stuff. 
Well, in HTML5, uh, you want to have your tags be a little bit more semantically correct. So instead of saying that this is just a div that's it's column main, we're going to change this to section. And this is now going to be a section of the site. So what that's really saying is, just like it sounds, this is a section. Uh, where this column right is now going to be an aside. So aside content doesn't just mean content that has been pushed to the right or to the left. It means content that's sort of aside to the main content. It's not the main content of your site. Uh, people use aside for things like side navigations or just like we have our right column, but you could also use aside for other purposes. In this case, it makes perfect sense to use this aside because we're using this as a nav or just secondary information. Also, we're going to be changing some of our other tags, like uh, in footer, we'll give this a footer tag and stuff like this, and header, we'll give it a header tag. Uh, but that will we'll do that when we get to it. Also, I don't feel as if we need this page class. We can get rid of this, so let's get rid of that. Let me just make sure we get rid of this div. And then you have to make sure you get rid of its closing div as well. Okay, so it's getting a little bit better. We now have, it's still a little too, much, little too many divs for my liking personally. But um, actually, I'm going to remove this wrapper container. Um, it's nice to have a, a wrapper class around everything, but if you recall, this container class that came with Skeleton gives this a overall width and a margin that sets it in the center. We want our header to ne uh, we don't necessarily want our header to be bundled inside of that because we want our header and our footer to span the entire width of the page, not the width that this defines. So let's cut this container class out of here where we have it. And let's put that in, instead of saying main container, we're going to put it right here. So now the container is just wrapping around the main stuff. Our header is separate. Our footer is separate. We can save this and we can come back to our page and we shouldn't see a ton different. In fact, I would suspect we won't see anything different at all except for the header content. So here we have our header it's spanning the full width. We have our nav it's spanning the full width. And now our container, our main stuff is right here. It's uh, has the margin and it's floating in the center like this, just like we want it. Um, and the footer, again, is going to be entirely separate. Okay, so that cleans up this page a little bit more in our HTML and our CSS. Um, in the next lesson, we're going to go further into this. We're going to start changing out our header template, and then we're going to move on to things like our navigation. We're going to build this out, and it's going to be looking great, okay? As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.